Dun dun. Hi. No, right. That was that was a terrible intro. Yeah. Back playing on the Zupcraft server. Yep. I have been gathering resources all day to build this sheep farm. And I'm finally at the point where I feel like we can get started. So I have been just going up my final batch of wool. And as you can see, this is the stuff that I will be using. I'm pretty sure I have more than I need, but you know, that's always good to have more. You know, we'll just take this. We'll put it back in a bit. You know, having more is good than having not enough. So, here we are. There are two sheep, two white sheep. I don't know what colour world I'm going to have this in yet. I haven't decided. But this one will be white, no matter what happens. So, we're just going to start to build. I have made a design in a creative world, so I have some idea of what I'm doing. And it doesn't involve placing a fence gate there, I can tell you that now. That was a bad placement. At least the sheep can't get out. So we are just going to wild. This is still 6 by 6 isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to start off with... I think we'll work from back forwards. I think that is going to be the easiest. There's also a lot of wasted material in this build, but I said YOLO, I don't care, for example. A lot of this oak wood we won't be able to see when this is all done. But as I just said, I don't really care. And I'm probably going to be tabbing out quite a bit because I don't remember how to build this thing from the top of my head. So I'll probably be stopping off by the creative world every so often. Just to see if I can remember. Once I'll be at one, I will be able to build them all. But I thought I'll bring you along with the design process and, you know, explain a bit of what went through my head when I was making this. Also, we have this tunnel to deal with. And I've got a few plans of how I'm going to deal with this tunnel. Because most of the sheep farm is going to go into the tunnel. So, which is going to be fun. Right, now, can I remember how to do this? We want a piece of glass down here. And I want some. Get a bit of spruce wood. Can I reach. Good, I can reach the workbench. Just get some spruce wood on the go. Let's get a few slabs. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are going to like this, but I like it. So, I'm going to go with it. Oops, that was a failure. Do 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 I believe these are five five one two three. It's a pretty tall place, but I mean, you know, you can clear out the roof. I think it was that high. Um, let's get this. Just pop up here. Place that, uh, oh. place that there. Actually, it might have been lower down. Hmm. I've always forgotten how to build this. I think it was lower down. I think it was like one more down. Uh, right. I shall check my creative world and take a screenshot so I can see what the hell I'm doing here. Because I cannot remember how to build this. Right, so I shall be back in a second. Okay, I have taken a screenshot now. So I know what what I'm meant to be doing. So let me just take a quick look at my screenshot. Yep. Was definitely doing that wrong. As I said I was. Let's get some stairs on the go. Probably gonna have to go and get some dye eventually. I mean because it's not every pen isn't gonna have a white wall. So there will be a time when I need to get dye. It's correct. Oh, I'm on a roll now. Is that correct or is it one forward? Oops. Um, no, that's not correct. Oh, here we go. This is going to be fun. Uh, uh, it's this here, and then this goes in front. And we're going to want to get up top. Careful, the sheep don't escape. They are suicidal. Then we put a piece of glowstone here, followed up with a piece of that. And then we can steal this top layer back. Also, I'm going to have to work on this staircase. I'm probably going to redesign this entire area once this sheet was built. That, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Let me have a look. Yep, yeah, okay, good. I've done something right. These sheep, man, get out of the way. Move. So, boop, 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 boop. 
And I need to set out my hot bar as well. This is bad hot bar placement. So we got that. I mean, I think you guys might like this. I I like it, so that says a lot if I like something. Uh, I'm not the best of builders. I, I'm more of an adventurer in this game than a builder. But but I try my best with building. Do it, place that. And we'll just walk that down. I went through a lot of different designs with a sheep farm and could, just could not settle on something. So eventually I just had to say, okay, I shall just pick something that I've done and say that's what it's going to be. Oh, we've got another pathway here. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a lot of base redesigning when this is done. So let's get some white. How's that sheep escapes though? So we're going to put white wool here. See, now, my reasoning for this is because obviously we're going to have a path here. So now if we just look, we can easily identify, you know, what colour this is. You know, oh look, this is white wool. Oh, however did I know that? I've got to be really careful with this bit actually, so the sheep don't escape. So it's like this, and like this. And then we have half slabs. Yeah, he's already trying to escape, little bitch. You're not escaping. Oh, bitch. No, stop it. You're making me place blocks wrong. Uh, how did I have this button that I can't see in the picture? I can actually. Oh, yes, the bottom bit was half slabs with a little design halfway through. Okay. Also, this grass needs to go here because this is not going to be grass. There's going to be some spruce wood. And this is where I'm talking about wasted materials. I could have used half slabs. But I haven't chosen to use half slabs, so I'm not going to. Same here, you can only see that piece and that piece of oak wood, and there's like oak wood going all the way up, but you know, I just feel like I should use the if I'm gonna put you know, spend all this time making it, I may as well use not cheap out on resources, just build it to you know, use all the resources I can. <laughs> Maximize wastage in any way, any way I can. So we want this and it's like this, oh, that failed. Gonna raise the ceiling in this building too. Probably do that. I build this first pan, raise the ceiling, and then bring you back. Uh, right, so I've got to be really careful here. But, okay, now we can't get through. Right, so sheep's gone crazy. I want a bit, a few more slabs. There we go. Sheep can't fit through here because they're too big. Yeah, you're fatty. We'll have that, and then I believe it's this one and this one. There we go. And we bring this across to the front, like so. I couldn't decide on what to do for the front. That was another problem I was having, was like, how am I going to do this front? So I've just decided, just to, for simplicity, we'll just have this going up. That's it. That's what the decision that I came to. Do do gonna have to work on this ceiling as well. I've got I've got a ceiling design for the pens, but not for like the overall building. That comes across. Probably get the picture of what I'm gonna do on this side. So we'll get some stairs, like so. Raise the ceiling and bring this in. Like so, I'm gonna do this bit by bit, otherwise the sheep will attempt to escape and probably succeed. They are escapee sheeps. Well, look, see, he's trying to escape now. And we will put this. I can just sit there for a minute. Uh, right, let's get. How do I make carpets? Is that it? Aha. So we're we'll going some carpet and a few more stairs. And for the carpet, we're gonna go carpet here, here. I don't know if you can. Oh, you can put it on fence gates. Okay. Hmm. This wasn't in the design. I didn't realize I could put carpet on fence gates. Okay. Hmm. This wasn't in there. Maybe I should just have it all the way across. See, what I originally had was this, like that. I didn't realise I could put it on fence gates so like that. I don't know, we'll leave it like that and you can tell me in the comments which you prefer. Okay. 
So that's the question for this episode. What do you prefer? Do you prefer having this going all the way across or having it where there's a gap over the fence gates? Like this. So it's option one or two. So let me know in the comments which you prefer and I shall take your considerations on board and probably still do what I want. But, you know, you might change my mind. So do it anyway. And slabs. Do. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Slabs across. Oops. Didn't want to do that. And we're out of slabs. A lot of spruce wood is going to be used in this build. There we go. Let's just get a load of slabs. Like so, like so. Now we're on to the ceiling of the building. So, we're going to have this like this oh, bitch. Well, I could just stay there because we're wasting materials cross so get the white wall and we're going to have white wall as a border in the ceiling like so and, and my final piece of this design is some glowstone in the ceiling so the sheep have lighting. Oh yeah, we don't need to use the fence gates. So there you go. That is the design that I came up with. The sheep are massive dirt. I may put something there just to stop them from jumping up. But I'm sure they'll sort their issues out. But yeah, it is a design that I, I came up with. I'm happy with it. I like the walls. Especially when I get all these other pens built, I like how you're gonna be able to see into like the next pen over just from say I'm in say I'm in here harvesting, I can see you know this pen and a few pens down if I crouch. Uh, next I will show you what my path design was. Which I can just about make out in the photo. So oh didn't want to break that, but whatever. So we'll come along here put this spruce wood in so we have a base for the other side and I may have I think I I should have enough spruce wood for all of this I, I, I went like overboard with the spruce wood and got way more than I was gonna need I calculated it all out so my path design was gonna be something like this so we'll have this come across here Rip out this path. This is where the birch comes in. Uh, whip this out. I'm not sure if we're going to keep this path design yet. I haven't decided. And we get a bit of birch. You're also going to have to use your imagination a bit because I only have one corner of the wall, so this won't look how it will look when it's all done. And then bring this birch around like so. Is that right? Right so far. Actually, that's wrong. I did it wrong. No. The birch doesn't stop. The birch continues all the way down. There is no spruce involved in this bit. This is birch here. Like so. Which means this must be birch. Have to do this right. Right, so imagine. Right, let's just take. This pen is white, obviously. And this pen is going to be black, for example. So it would be white, black, white, black, white, black, like that on the pattern. So there's lots of different indicators. So we can see, like, we look along, we see the colour of this pathway. It's like, okay, so these two pens are white and black. Or we can look, see this white border here, the white sheep, the white background, the white ceiling. So there's, we're just going to fill this in all white for now. So there's lots of different indicators for, like, what colour the pens are. So when you're coming down, you know, you've got lots of different things that your eyes are drawn to for the colours. So, yeah. There we go. And now I'm going to see how much this encroaches on this. Yep. As I was expecting. So, the sheep farm is like all the way down here somewhere. If I remember right. Let's get my pick. Yep. This is still... What bit of the sheep farm is this? Okay. How far does this thing go down? So, I'm going to have to work on this as well. But what I was going to do is I could, was going to think about having a path that came up here. So, 
I might have this go to the surface, have another entrance into my base. But for now, we're going to come through here. If I keep digging forward, I should, theoretically. I'm a bit higher than I was anticipating. Oops. That's a, a little bit higher. And this will have a pathway here into this tunnel. But we have all of this tunnel that's going to have sheep farm in it. So I'm going to have to rebuild this tunnel somewhere. Like stick it through this wall. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Hmm. Also, just out of curiosity, oh crap. I, I've just thought about that now, having to take this to the surface. So, let's have a little take to the surface and see where we come out at. I don't have a shovel. So, there's going to be a lot of block, block breaking involved here with my fist of fury. We're in the swamp, so we're probably going to flood this. So, we'll put that there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hmm. Let's come out a bit. How far into the swamp are we? Okay. It'd be cool if we could get like the entrance to come out here, maybe. And have like something here. Okay. I could do something with that. Could do something with that. Oh, I could. Then I could have the path like come from here all the way down over to there. Just one of our entrance. But yeah, I might try and do something with that. Hmm. In the back of my house. And nothing has changed around spawn, so there's not much to show you. And that's about it. So I am now Actually no, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna we're gonna try and get all the colours of wool. All the different colours we're gonna need. So hmm. we're gonna need black, cyan, all, all the colours. See what do we have in these chests? I probably should work out how much of each colour I'm gonna need. In fact, right, I'll do that and then I'm gonna go and work out how much of each colour I'm gonna need and then I'll bring you back and we'll we'll, we'll work on getting those colours. So yeah, let's have a little quick count. Yeah, it's gonna require quite a bit. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so I have crunch the numbers. And I've come to the conclusion that we're going to need 25 of each die. The actual number was 24, but I thought I'd get a bit more just in case I fuck up. So we're going to need 25 of each colour die to finish this sheep farm. So let me put back all our supplies that we took. Fence gates, fences. And we're going to go now and attempt to get 25 of each die. So this is going to be a fun little project to do. <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's see. I don't even know how to make all the dyes. Do we have any? No, I need cactus, roses, obviously, ink sacks. I don't have anything. Okay, okay. Wait, I saw some. Aha! There we go. We have the yellow dye. Let's just um deposit all of this in a random chest. Put it in this chest. There we go. So we need twenty-five of this dye. Twenty-five. Well if I mix this dye, does that do something? It does. We make orange. Okay, so let's mix the rose and the yellow to make orange. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Right. <sighs> This is going to be great fun to do this. It's a brown wall, we don't need that though. Oh, I'll have to go and find cocoa beans. It's going to be quite a jungle. Hmm. This is going to be a, a long episode or a two parter. A quest for dye. Okay. I believe that's. Oh, we have a wall in here that I didn't know about. Okay. Aha, we have some cactus green. <laughs> okay. Right. Let me stop by the chicken farm and get some food, and we're going to head out and go and get some dye. So I'm going to need cactus, I'm going to need roses, I'm going to need dandelions. And I'm going to need cocoa beans. What other dyes can I get from the natural world? I'm going to need some white, because then I can make the greys, some ink sacks. 
Uh, right. Where to start? We'll start off with the cactus. No, we'll start off with Matt's house. What's left of Matt's house. And because I've inherited all his stuff. So we'll, we'll see what he has to offer. And torches. I'll take those. Ah, bones. Here we go. So I'll convert this into bone meal. What if I can combine these? That doesn't make anything. What about these? Oh my god, that makes me lime. Okay. Holy crap. So, we've got some lime dye. <laughs> oh dear god, this is going to take a while. Uh, any flowers? Any insects? I don't think so. Unless I'm blind, which is a possibility. Uh, there are squids. Have I got my looting sword? I have. There's my normal sword, by the way. Alright, uh, right, so let's kill some squids and get their ink sacks. I got a load of ink sacks the other day, and I don't know why I put them. So, we're just gonna get some more. We've got one with a looting free sword. Fantastic. Oh, I've got an itch. Eh. So we'll head to the surface, and we'll kill this squid. Yeah, take that, you squid. Okay. It's 11. We're gonna need 25. Plus more because I'm pretty sure we need them to make the grey and the other colours of dye. Because I'm think if we combine grey, I mean um, white and black, we we'll get light grey or something. What if we combine? This is this is gonna be great fun. Okay, cactus. Do I destroy cactus with an axe? Mm, that works. Oh, fist. There you go. Works. Cactus destroying hunt. 14. I'm not sure if it gives me one die per cactus. But we're going to need lime, so we're going to try and aim for like half a stack of cactus. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> this is, gonna, this is this. Let's just aim for a stack of cactus. In fact, because you don't want to watch me sit here and punch cactus, I'm going to get a stack of cactus and I'll bring you back and we'll continue our dying adventure. Okay, I have a stack of cactus. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but that will start with that. And I saw some yellow flowers over here. So next, I'm going to go running through this bio and punching yellow flowers. While talking to you about punching yellow flowers. So when I was a young boy, I used to... Ooh, a squid. I used to punch yellow flowers all day, every day. And I did not really do that. That was a lie. I'm a terrible person. No, I have picked flowers before. I don't know why I'm saying this. <laughs> I like, I remember you sitting, I don't know. I just remember a big field where I used to live when I was younger, just like full of flowers. I would just sit and pick and then pull the petals off and then destroy and burn them and eat them and stuff. You know? That's what you do to flowers when you're young. You murder them viciously. In fact, I'm pretty sure I still do that now. If I'm walking along the street and I will see a flower that's like high up enough to reach. Oh, there's some red over there. But if I happen to bend over, I shall pick it and then mutilate it and then burn it. I don't really burn it. A little narcissist. Uh, okay. I'm going to throw this because I don't want it to mix up. Which is still going to do. Unless I... No, it's always going to mix up. There's nothing I could do about it. There we go. So, mm, what if we combine these two colours? Nothing happens. What if we combine these two colours? Nothing happens. What about these two? Good, nothing happens. But we're going to need to get that red. I think that should be enough yellow. Oh, that's squids. Kill these. Get their ink sacks, we're gonna need more black. Hopefully. Does that give us 25 black at least? It does. So we have two colours now where we have enough. What if we could find black in this colour? No. What about this one? No. This one should do something. Yes, it does. Okay, we've got some grey dye now. Oh dear, this is gonna be so good. Okay, kill this one. And collect these. And we shall save these up for red rose dye. Which puts us at 16 of that. 
What if we like bleach red rose? Can we do that? Oh, we can. It gives us pink. What about if we do this? What if we bleach that? Oh god, we can. That gives us like grey. Okay, and that gives us more than enough light grey. So there we go. That's twenty-five light grey. And what if we bleach bleach this again? That gives us more than enough pink dye as well. What if we combine pink with yellow? Nothing. What about with this colour? How do I get magenta? Is it with orange? No. Nope. <laughs> this is what I'm going to be doing a lot of. <laughs> guessing how to make colours. Uh, there's a f Ooh, red, red over here. To the red! To the red, to the red, to the red, 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 to the red, to the red. Oh, there's lots of red here, good. But I think we'll save this red up for a bit of actual red. I don't know, I say that. Probably not going to. Lots of red. Is there a squid over here? Nope. Oh my god, this is gonna. I'm trying to think of all the colours that we can make. I know there's 16 of them, I know that much. And I don't know how to make them all. Right. Turn these roses. Okay, that gives me red rose dye. Right, we'll keep 25 of that. Oh, we have some ink sacks. Haha. <laughs> What if we combine this and this? What about this and this? No. Let's make some orange. That gives us orange. Okay, good. Uh, can we combine orange with white or black or anything? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if we can combine that with anything. Uh, let's get a bit more red because we need to make. Uh, what if we. White and black, that gives us the light grey, doesn't it? The grey dye. So we're gonna get that. Alright, what if I red and pink? Was that red and white, wasn't it? It's pink. Okay. We'll, we'll get some more red, and we'll go back to town and we'll cook up these cactus. We also need a bit more black. So hopefully we'll find some ink sacks very shortly. Get this. I'm really like thinking hard how to make all these colours. <laughs> uh, ooh, lots of red here. Let's get a good few of them. And then I shall cook up this cactus and that'll give us some cactusy dyes. Blue, how do we lapis, we need lapis, of course we do. That's how you make the blue dyes. So we'll get some lapis as well as soon as it hits night. Uh, that should be enough. Red rose dye to last me forever. Uh, 25. Good. There's a couple of squids here that need to be murdered so we can get their ink sacks. And then at that point, I'm going to head to town and get some lapis and cook this cactus up. And from that point, right, so I'll meet you back at town. And if I find anything interesting, like I explode into a million pieces. I will let you know when I hit town. And okay, we're back at town. Here we are in my his house. Let's go down the staircase. Got all my eye. I found a few more squids on the way back. Pre precisely f seven, I think. Uh, if you've ever seen this work, it's very simple. Put something in the light turns on. I don't know if I explained that. Right, lapis, lapis. Where do we keep lapis? Here we keep lapis. Okay. Do we just. It's all automatically blue, isn't it? Ah, light blue. We want 25 of this. We have to make 26, though, because we don't have 25. Uh, let's get more lapis. What if I combine lapis with pink? No, what if I combine lapis with black? Nothing. Okay. Well, let's get 25 lapis. And let's put all of my colored dyes in this chest. So we get 25 light gray, yellow, eh, black, pink, light blue, normal blue, orange, red, and let's get some cactus green. Combine that. This should make me lime. Yeah, okay, good. That's going to be lime. What if we combine this and this? Purple. 
Okay. This is great. I'm finding out how to make colours. Okay. What if we combine blue with yellow? Nothing. With pink? Nope. With light grey? Nope. Okay, nope. How do I make how do I make other colours? I'm getting there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine out of sixteen. This is this will be ten out of sixteen. Make some more line. We have enough line dying out. Excellent. Leave one behind. Put the line in the chest. This chest. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Can we combine orange with? White. No. What about with black? No. What about purple? No. What about grey? Lime. Yellow. Pink. Light blue. Light grey. Normal blue. Normal green? No. Okay. I'm stumped. What other colours are there? What if we combine multiples. Um this gives me colour that I already have. I already have pink. Uh, hmm what colours? How do I make magenta? I still need magenta and cyan, that's definitely two of the ones I'm missing. Uh, I'm missing magenta and cyan that would be, I've got this one, so that would be three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We got, so we know thirteen out of sixteen, but we, we can't make a few of them because we don't know how. Uh, grey, blue, yellow we have. Cyan we don't know how to make. Light blue we've made. Trying to think back to like Vex's maps and the Victory Monument, what colours there were? Brown, cocoa beans. That's what we're missing, cocoa beans. That would probably give us the rest of the colour wheel. Right, there's no cocoa bean farm at spawn. Who's gonna have a shit ton of cocoa beans? The jungle. We're gonna have to go into the jungle to find cocoa beans. <laughs> right, I'll meet you at the closest jungle because I can't think of where it is, so I'll see you there. In fact, before we go and find cocoa beans, it's the end of the world as we know it. It's not. It's the end of the episode as we know it, though. Yeah, I told you this is going to be a two-parter. I wonder if we can make... No. But I told you this is going to be a two-parter because a hunt for die takes a while. So, yeah. Next episode, we should hopefully get the rest of the colours and we'll work a bit more on the sheep farm. So, yeah. Bye.